Joe Buck, a young Texan dishwasher, wears new cowboy clothes, gathers his belongings, and quits his job. He moves to New York City with the hopes of becoming a successful male prostitute for ladies. How you doing, Ralph? Uh, four o'clock. Four to midnight. That's what you're doing here. Uh, yes, sir. Mr. Trapper, sir, I wonder if you could have a, a word with me for a second. What the hell are you doing in that get up? Grab an apron and clean up and crap back there. Man, he knows what the hell you can do with that crap. Are you coming to work? I guess not, Ralph. Hell, I just come to collect my pay. Tell you all I'm heading up east. Heading up east? Yeah, I thought I'd say goodbye to you. Just come look around a little bit, you know? Pops! Well. Goodbye. Goodbye. What are you going to do back east? There's a lot of rich women back there, Ralph. Begging for it. Paying for it, too. Yeah? Yeah, hell yeah. And the men, they're mostly tutti fruities. Oh, I bet you're some mess back there. So I'm going to cash in on some of that, right? I don't know. I don't know nothing about it. Hell, what do I got to stay around here for? I got places to go, right? When he gets there, the handicapped con artist Ratso Rizzo NBSP steals some money. When Joe runs out of money and is homeless without a client, Ratso offers Joe a place to live in his abandoned apartment building NBSP after running into him again on the streets. Look, with these gals that want to buy it, most of them are old and dignified. Social registered types, you know what I mean? They can't be trotting down at Times Square to pick out the merchandise. They gotta have some kind of uh, middleman. And that's where old Daniel comes in, you know what I mean? Hey, hey, I'm walking here! I'm walking here! Up yours, you son of a bitch! You don't talk me that way! Get out of here! Enjoy them. November Better Homes and Gardens tells you about the invasion of the stylish furniture from Spain. Come on now, don't hit me. Come on now. Come on, I'm a cripple. I ain't gonna hit you. Come on now. I'm gonna strangle you to death. Now, wait a minute. Only first I'm gonna shake you out right here now. Where's my money? Here. You put it right there, boy. All right. All right, here. Here, that, that's all I got. Here, that's it. That's all you got? What you got in your socks? Nothing. I, I swear to God. I swear on my mother's eyes. Here, nothing. Here, 64 cents. Go ahead. Come on, I want you to have it. Uh, sticky, what'd you do? Slobber on it? Here. Here, have a cigarette. Come on. Come on. Come on, sit down. How do you like that old Daniel flipping out like that? You know, I tried to get in touch with you when I heard, but I was laid off with this call. <coughs> hey, you want some free medical advice? You just keep your damn mouth shut about that night. Right, fine, okay. Fine, okay. Another subject. Where are you living at? You still at the hotel? What am I doing talking to you, damn it? Hey, come on! Hey, wait up! You keep away from me, here. You come near me again, I'm gonna snatch you all, headed boy. Now I'm warning you. I'm inviting you. I mean, if you're not located, I got a place. I'm inviting you, goddamn it! You inviting shit. The American Information Officer says there have been 429 American casualties, 429 on the death list. This as opposed to 643 South Vietnamese hey. soldiers. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, what? The state What's your... What's the matter? Where's my bo Where's my boots? Where's my damn boots? Over there. <coughs> How'd they get off me? I took them off. What, what for? What do you mean, what for? So you could sleep. Oh, Christ.
smart thing for me to do is hold my ass out of here. What's the matter now? Well, you, you want me to stay here. You're after something. What the, what you after? You don't look like no fag. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you want me to stay here tonight. That's the idea, ain't it? Look, I'm not forcing you. I mean, like, uh, who's forcing you? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I truly am. I must have got the wrong impression then. Okay. Okay, boy. Look, I want you to stay, all right? I mean, I goddamn invited you, didn't I? Well, I hope you know what you're in for. I'm a truly dangerous person, I am. As some, someone does me bad like you. I swear, if I'd have caught up with you that night, there would have been one dead rat so long by now. You understand me. You hear? I'm impressed. You're a killer. So I'm going to stay here a couple of days. I just thought you should know.